everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here to share with you my finished doily book. And thanks for all of you who joined us on the live where we uh, were creating it. And thank you all for who bought the um, the doily book kit because um, I sold out of them. And thank you so much. I appreciate your support. So I decided to make a Mary Antoinette um, out of my doily book kit. And this is the, I'm sorry for the light glare on there, but this is the uh, embellishment that I made for BB Crafts on an earlier video. And I added that to my cover page and I added some pearls and a crown. And then, you know, some more, some more ruffles behind it and some dangly bits. This beautiful dangle here was made by Karina and she gifted it to me and I love it so much. And then this beautiful dangle is from Craft Supplies for You. Um, the tool trim I have in my stash in every color but turquoise, but I will be getting the turquoise soon because I love it. And this big giant bling right here is from Chaos for You. And this is the only printed image I, I used. So I wanted to show you that you can make a doily book without um, having to print out images. So I just printed that one out on cardstock actually. So it's not even on fabric, but there are no more printed images in here. Uh, but let me show you. So this is the first page, absolutely beautiful and fluffy. And here's, it's tied together with seam binding. And then you open it up. So much going on here. All right, so this is the pocket page I made out of the corset trim. I just love making pockets with the corset trim. And so it has um, tool around the edges and this beautiful applique inside this pink bow, this beautiful bling that was give, gifted to me by Edith. Thank you, Edith, I love it. And then I used uh, the pink ribbon that came with the kit to uh, lace the corset lace together. And then I used this applique across the bottom. I added more dangles, of course, all the dangles that I could and that I had. And then I added this, jar this charm dangle right here that is just beautiful. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And then up here is a bulb pin with a handheld mirror charm and two uh, pearls. So that's my pocket page. Now on this page, I made a, uh, a cake page for my Mary Antoinette book. And I used the uh, beautiful cake cutouts from the corner shop till the paper pad. Then I, uh, I placed them on top of a doily but on top of this beautiful pink trim. And I stickled them, of course, and then I added a bling bow, I added some pearl stamens, and then I put my uh, Deco Fun bow maker to work and I made this adorable bow right here with that beautiful ribbon lace that I actually got in the kit that I got from Angel Dream Crafts. It's absolutely beautiful lace, I love it. I'm gonna have to get more of that. But I added underneath, um, some pearl trim, some more of that beautiful trim that Karina sent me, and then of course uh, more more dangles, more dangles, more better, you know. And I did add some rhinestone trim to the bottom of the cakes. I just thought it was just super cute. It's too cute. It's too cute. And so then, look what I've done here. I took one of the beautiful um, masquerade masks that you can get from Craft Supplies for You, and I put my heat gun, I removed the feather that came out of the middle, I put my heat gun on the back of it just a little bit, enough to make it a little bit um, flexible, and then I flattened it out a little so that it would go in the book and the book would still close, and that worked like a champ. And so I just added a lot of this beautiful tool trim round and round and round. Then I added uh, a pearl bling to the middle. Then I added the mask and I put uh, four marabou, pink marabou feathers that I had in there. And then I was like, it needs more. So then I added, I draped the pearls coming out of it. I just think it's, it's awesome, right? Because Marie was about the masquerade ball for sure. So loving how that turned out and so then i have another pocket page right here made with a doily with more of the tool trim more of the yummy yummy dangles um, i added two appliques right here in the background 
And then my one of my favorite embellishments is this uh, pearl dangle, which you can get that um, just about anywhere nowadays. You can get it at Crafty Me Shop on Facebook, which is Esme's store, and also Craft Supplies for You carries them. Um, and I use this beautiful pink braid that Paula gifted to me. Thank you, Paula. I absolutely love it. So I put that around. And then I added a bulb pin with one of these um, embellishment charms that I made. I have um, a tutorial on how to make those. So that's hanging there with um, a heart charm and some pink beads. It's just beautiful. And then here is the back page that I love it. It's just a huge dangly flower and it's got um, layers of lace and layers of doilies and then this rolled rose in the middle and then there's dangles coming directly from the flower then a bunch of dangles of course um, on the bottom so it's just super pretty it's just turned out amazing I love it love it so much so I hope that you love it I hope it inspires you and please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think and thanks for watching everybody